Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Jamie Anita. I'm a foreign medical graduate from Georgia. I cracked my June 2021 FMG exam. For those of you who don't know what FMG is, it's a licensing exam to practice medicine in India. I'm currently doing my internship. Thank you for the amazing response that you showed on my uh, video, the pros and cons of studying medicine in Georgia. In this video, I've decided to answer some frequently repeated questions on medicine in Georgia. So if you are a student who is uh, planning to go to uh, Georgia to study medicine or if you are a first year MBBS student, um, this video is for you. Without much further ado, let's get started. First question, please tell what is the difference between Georgian and Indian books for MBBS? There is not much difference. They follow the same standard textbooks like Guyton and Hall for Physiology or Harrison's for Internal Medicine. In India, you additionally have uh, Indian authors books. Next question. Can you please be transparent and answer in your opinion? Does Georgia have safe environment? How do the locals treat foreigners? Does almost everyone speak good English there? All these questions are especially about Tbilisi. Thank you. I had already talked about this in my pros and cons um, of studying medicine in Georgia video. Um, most of the foreigners are very friendly and hospitable especially outside the city, that is outside Tbilisi, um, there might be few incidents that you might come across which are unfortunate, like everywhere else. Um, it also happens in Georgia, but I don't want to generalize my comment. Majority of the foreigners, uh, majority of the Georgians are extremely friendly and warm. Um, it's a safe country indeed. And about um, language, I've already talked about it. From what I observe, most of the young population of Georgia speak English well, while the middle-aged people do not speak English. Next question. Ma'am, does NEET is compulsory? Is NEET compulsory? Earlier, when we joined, NEET was not compulsory, but due to the latest guidelines, you need the required cutoff to study medicine abroad. Uh, so yes, NEET is mandatory. What is the overall budget means the whole MBBS expense including flight tickets and tuition fee, hostel and normal expense. Um, the total budget is around 50 to 60 lakhs. Let me split the budget for your convenience. Um, please keep in mind all these are approximate amount only. Tuition fee for 6 years would be around 30 lakhs approximately. Ticket fare is around 40,000 for round trips. Accommodation assuming you share an apartment with others plus food and other expense would be around 20,000 to 25,000 per month which is around 3 to 4 lakhs per year. Next, can MBBS graduates study MD in Georgia or there any other medical colleges for masters? Yes, you can do your post-graduation course in Georgia but I do not have the accurate details. Once I have enough information, I'll definitely make a video on that. You can always mail the university, you can contact them directly. Um, if there is someone who is doing post-graduation in Georgia, please um, help us out in the comment section. How long does it take to study pharmacy in Georgia and what's the tuition fee range? Although not very uh, sure, from what I researched, it's a four-year course in bachelor's. Um, the tuition fee range is from 4,500 to 5,000 USD. There are uh, universities like Tbilisi State Medical University and East European Universities um, offering pharmacy courses. If there is someone who is doing pharmacy in Georgia, please, uh, who is studying pharmacy in Georgia, please leave your valuable thoughts in the comment section. Hi, Dr. Jemmy. I just wanted to take admission in Tbilisi, so I heard someone say, if we fail an exam, no second attempt will be provided. Instead, we need to take pre-exam the entire SEM by paying full fee of that semester. Is this true? Because in most countries, they provide at least one attempt for free. So I want to know what is the real scenario there. No, this is not true at all. You'll have um, one uh, attempt without paying any fee. Um, if you fail any exam, you'll have a re-exam re for that particular subject. Um, you don't have to pay anything for that. Uh, speaking further, if you fail in the re-exam, then you have to repeat the same subject in the next semester. Um, the credit system is a bit complicated, so let me explain. Um, you'll have to get around th 360 credits during your MBBS. 
and there will be certain amount of credits to be completed in a year. You cannot take credits more than that. So what happens when you fail a subject is that uh, it keeps getting accumulated. Um, one thing is you won't be able to complete the subject so you lose that credit and second thing is that subject will be the prerequisite for other subjects in the next semester. So you might not be able to take up the subjects which uh, I mean which have the subject which you failed as a prerequisite. So at the end um, you'll have to repeat an extra semester and uh, major disadvantage is that um, if you fail in any subject or say two to three subjects you'll have to repeat the entire sim. Um, for that you'll have to pay the entire fee. I hope you got my point. Is there any licensing exam to practice medicine in Georgia? Can Indian student practice medicine in Georgia? No, there is no licensing exam to practice medicine in Georgia. All you need is a valid degree, that is MBBS degree. Plus, you'll have to know their uh, language, that is Georgian language, compulsorily. Also, I'm going to answer a few commonly asked questions from you. Uh, many of you have asked the same question. Uh, what is the best universities to, to study medicine in Georgia? There's no single best answer to the question because no uh, single university is the best. Every university will have its unique sets of disadvantages. Mostly it's from the administrative sites, you know. Uh, mostly it's from the administrative side. Um, rude replies, not respecting uh, the students' queries, etc., etc. One advice that I would give you is before joining any university, be it any university, just try to get in touch with the students, inquire about the passing percentage of FMG, which will give you an idea about the uh, standard of education in that particular university. Also inquire about um, administration, how it is, um, is it respectful, uh, does it reply to your qu queries on time and also you can ask other doubts. Also, uh, from my personal experience, one advice that I would give you is um, make sure that the university is an established university, at least some years old. Um, skip joining new medical colleges. There are so many reasons as to why I am saying this. One more common question is how many years uh, does it take to complete MBBS? Earlier it used to be 5 years in few colleges but everywhere now it's 6 years. One more question, which university are you from? I am from uh, New Vision University, Tbilisi, Georgia. I will be soon posting a video about my university. I will even give you a tour if possible. Final question, uh, what language do they speak in Georgia? It's called Georgian language, which is also known as Kartuli. Um, Georgians are very proud of their tradition and language. It's an extremely old and um, beautiful language. Um, if you want to make some amazing local friends, I would suggest you to learn the local language. That's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any queries regarding studying medicine in Georgia, you can always leave it in the comment section below. Indian students who are aspiring to crack FMG December 2022, you can find many FMG related content on my channel. So make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching.